Hi, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. We are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK, living a traditional life. We make three new videos a week. So hit that subscribe button now. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. This video we are going to react to Yes Minister. It is a clip that says Yes Minister explains the EEC in parentheses EU. Do you know anything about Yes Minister? Uh, the only thing I know is I've seen one or two clips before randomly on YouTube. And it's just, it's about uh, the life of the prime minister. It seems like it's intended to convey that it's not all so cleanly executed and perfectly managed, but mm -hmm. that it's complete chaos and buffoonery. <laughs> and buffoonery. Yeah. This is definitely then British classic comedy where they're making fun of themselves, right? I mean, you would think the highest office is like, is the prime minister's office. And yeah, so, but I mean, but to say or to imply that behind yeah. closed doors it's, it's chaos and buffoonery. Yeah, I, mean, it's, I don't think we have an equivalent in the U.S. I mean, Saturday Night Live does skits on the White House all the time, um, but there isn't a show, a comedy was, uh, show, The West Wing. That's not comedy though. Right, that's drama. Yeah, and yes. so I think it wouldn't come off very well. I think in America, if we did some sort of comedy based, the Saturday Night Live skits do come off well. Often yes. if there's a Republican in the White House. Yes. Um, but if there's a Democrat, I don't know if they if they it comes don't. off as well. I don't know. No. Yes, this, this directive comes from Brussels, saying that all EEC members must conform to some niggling European word processing standards. They have to agree to the plans of masses of European word processing committees at the forthcoming European word processing conference in Brussels. Well, say something. <laughs> yes, Minister. Quite so. <laughs> is that all you want to say? Well, Minister, I'm afraid that is the penalty we have to pay for trying to pretend that we're Europeans. Believe me, I fully understand your hostility to Europe. I'm not like you, Humphrey. I'm pro-Europe. I'm just anti-Brussels. <laughs> I sometimes think you're anti-Europe and pro-Brussels. Oh, Minister, I'm neither pro nor anti-anything. I'm merely a humble vessel into which ministers pour the fruits of their deliberations. But it could well be argued that, given the absurdity of the whole European idea, that Brussels is, in fact, doing its best to defend the indefensible and to make the unworkable work. That is simply not true, Humphrey. I don't understand pompous, but the European idea is our best hope of avoiding narrow national self-interest. That doesn't sound pompous, Minister. Good. Merely inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Humble vessel. Europe is a community of nations dedicated towards one goal. Oh. <laughs> Maybe show the joke. Oh, <laughs> Let's look at this objective bit. It is a game played for national interests and always was. Why do you suppose we went into it? To strengthen the brotherhood of free Western nations, really. We went in to screw the French by splitting them off from the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> so why did the French go into it then? Well, to protect their inefficient farmers from commercial competition. It certainly doesn't apply to the Germans. No, no, they went in to cleanse themselves of genocide and apply for readmission to the human race. <laughs> no, such appalling cynicism. Oh, well, at seen. least the small nations didn't go into it for selfish reasons. Really? Luxembourg's in it for the perks. The capital of the EEC, all that foreign money pouring in. Very sensible central location. With the administration in Brussels and the parliament in Strasbourg. It's like having the, the House of Commons in Swindon and the civil service in Kettering. <laughs> if this were true, why would the other nations have been trying to get in? Such as? Well, take the Greeks. Actually, I find it difficult to take the Greeks. <laughs> Open-minded as I am about foreigners, as you both well know. <laughs> but what will they want out of it? An olive mountain and a red cedar lake. I just don't <laughs> accept any of this. Oh, I'm so sorry, Minister. I suppose some of your best friends are Greeks. <laughs> You're very dry. <laughs> The trouble with Brussels is not internationalism, it's too much bureaucracy. But the bureaucracy is a consequence of the internationalism. Why else would there be an English commissioner with a French director general immediately below him and an Italian chef de division reporting to the Frenchman and so on down the line? Oh, I agree. It's like the Tower of Babel. I agree. No, it's even worse. It's like the United Nations. I agree. Uh, then perhaps, I might... perhaps, if I may interject, you are in fact in agreement. No, no we're not. <laughs> Brussels is a shambles. You know what they say about the average common market official. Mm. 
He has the organizing ability of the Italians, the flexibility of the Germans, and the modesty of the French. <laughs> and that's topped up by the imagination of the Belgians, the generosity of the Dutch, and the intelligence of the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> it's all great big gravy train. What do you they mean? live on champagne and caviar, chauffeur-driven Mercedes, private aeroplanes. Every one of those officials has got his snout in the trough. Most of them have got their two front trotters in as well. Oh, really, sir? I beg to differ. Brussels is full of busy, hard-working public servants who have to enjoy a lot of exhausting travel and tedious entertainment. Oh, terribly tedious. Working their way through all that smoked salmon, forcing back all that champagne. <laughs> well, in any case, Minister, I think you're blaming the wrong people. I want to know who he's blaming. So it's interesting. It, it captures the political thought of the time. Mm -hmm. So it's like a window into history. I think the EEC or whatever, that was a precursor to the EU. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds very familiar. It sounds like what yeah. we're dealing with right now. Who is the guy in the humble vessel? I don't know. I think it seems like he is a representative of the UK to Brussels. Okay. So I think his job is to represent the UK in Brussels, mm -hmm. and he enjoys a lot of perks in doing that. Oh. So that's why the prime minister is saying, you sometimes see to be pro-Brussels, but against this EEC. And then the prime minister seems to be against Brussels, but for the union, mm -hmm. um, which I don't quite understand. But it's kind of like, you know, the character currently, Nigel Farage. Mm -hmm. So he was, and maybe continue is, I'm not sure, I think he quit, but... He was a representative of the UK or England into Brussels, mm -hmm. and he had a pension as part of that job. And so he railed against the EU and everything that they did, but he was pinned down as saying, but you're not going to give up your pension that's rewarded by the EU. And he <laughs> says, why would I do that? I'm, I paid into it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it seems contradictory. So it seems like that character... Seems has that same contradiction. Possibly. Seems like it, yeah. So it seems like it treats serious topics, but it injects humor in it. Yeah. So I like that. I've, I've been meaning to get into more into um, yes, yes Minister. Minister. Yeah. So I would watch more of that. Hmm. What did you think? It was it was difficult for me to understand because I'm not familiar with the way that the EU or the EEC work. Yeah, and I didn't know who they were. I, I'm sure mm. it will be it would be made clear if we watch yeah. a full episode. I'm sure we'll get lots of you have to watch full episodes in the comments. And maybe you should clarify again why we don't watch full episodes. We look at YouTube and try to find digital content to react to, mm -hmm. right? And so if we don't find it on YouTube. But they're going to say there are millions of Yes Minister full episodes. Why wouldn't you just pick one of those? The reason is because mm -hmm. if we choose one of those, we react to one of those, it will most likely get blocked, mm -hmm. which happened to our react to Faulty Towers. Mm -hmm. It happened to our react to Keeping Up Appearances. A react to Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. That one was blocked. Mm -hmm. And so... If you react to full episodes, most likely it will not be able, be allowed to be shown because yeah. it's copyrighted, copyrighted material. So that's why we had to take just snippets, like just bits and pieces of things that will make it through that Copyright censorship check. or whatever. Yeah. So it's not like we don't know how to find full episodes. It's not like we don't have Netflix and Amazon Prime mm. and we can download things now on iTunes and on YouTube. They even sell the full shows. Um, it's because we're trying to get stuff that we can put into a React to video and you can see it so it's not going to get blocked. Hmm. Thanks for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your comments and give us more ideas about what to react to. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.